I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit more about how you see the future of especially the electric vehicle market and kind of future technology. We're in Frankfurt and everything is about green, so what's your take? What's well, the, the, the technology will actually hit the market much earlier than in five sure. years' time. It's just in terms of our research responsibility. That's typically ending sort of somewhere three years before it goes to market. But um, the, the battery electric vehicles so will hit the market, will not only go into test fleet, the, there's actually, it's where that it goes into the US and when it goes in the US is announced. The the question is um, what kind of place it's, it, it plays in the customer hands and at what kind of volumes. And battery electric vehicle has uh, certain advantages, local zero emissions, it has very good operating costs relative to uh, sort of the, the, the cost per mile, but it has a fairly high investment and it has a limited range, so it's not like uh, re replacing sort of the, the traditional combustion engine in the same magnitude and scale. Yeah, yeah. And you think, you're saying there's some kind of key challenges, things like the idea of kind of quick charging and charging at home, that does still present real issues in, in your view? Yeah, let's, let's sort of just take, take the example, so with, with the, I think the Focus has a, if I'm not mistaken, about a 23 kilowatt hour battery, um, so with that it's a sort of 120 kilometers range, yeah. 120 kilometers range is probably about a fifth, 20% of what a customer would expect from a normal vehicle today. Um, but even if you take that, if you have it fully depleted, um, to, to recharge it in 15 minutes would mean you need sort of above 80 kilowatts of uh, electric power uh, attached to it, which probably for, for most people you don't really have a good meaning what, what, what that really implies, but if you compare that to what you have at home, that effectively means every single fuse you have in your, in your one family size home would have to go to just recharge that vehicle in 15 minutes. So from, from, a, from a great infrastructure problem there are challenges and then the question is whether you can even do it from a chemistry standpoint, yeah. whether you can absorb the heat generated in doing it. So. Uh, it has some certain niche applications, um, but it's not sort of a mass, uh, mass transportation individual car replacement. And do you see major kind of advances in battery technology in the next five years? Do you see major breakthroughs coming? I, there, there will be advances being made. It will be it, uh, the, the forecast that it will get cheaper, uh, but it's not like sort of the order of magnitude in terms of capacity or the order of magnitude cost um, on, on the horizon, which would totally, totally sort of change that perspective in the moment. Uh -huh.